जय सीताराम बालकांड चैप्टर इलेवन इन द प्रीवियस सेक्शन वी सॉ सेज संदत कुमार एज एडवाइज बींग टोल्ड बाई सुमंत्र टू किंग दशरथ दैट थ्रू दी सैक्रिफाइस कंडक्टेड बाई सेज ऋषि श्रृंग किंग दशरथ विल रिसीव फोर सन्स Now King Dashratha and his entourage have traveled to the kingdom of Anga. They have received wonderful hospitality from King Romapada, a beloved friend of King Dashratha. And now we are going to continue with that recitation and we will see how Rishishtranga and Shanta are brought to the kingdom of Ayodhya. वर्स सेवेंटीन रोमपादे न आख्यातम ऋषिपुत्राय धीमते सख्यम संबंधक तदा तम प्रत्यपूजयत then romapada explained his friendship and relationship with king dashrath to rishishringa of great intellect in return rishishringa too felicitated king dashrath verse eighteen एवं सुसत्कृत तेन सुहोसित्व नर ऋषभ सप्ताष्ट दिवसान राजा राजा इदम अब्रवीत इन दिस मैनर द बेस्ट ऑफ मैन किंग दशरथ वॉज वेल ऑनर्ड बाय रोमपाद ही स्पेंड सेवन और एट डेज देयर एंड देन स्पोक द फॉलोइंग टू रोमपाद वर्स नाइनटीन शांता तव सुता राजन सह भर्तार विशापते मदीया नगर या तो कार्य ही महद उद्यतम माई ओल्ड फ्रेंड एंड ट्रू आई वुड लाइक दैट यू अलाउ मी टू टेक अवे शांता एंड हर हजबेंड टू अयोध्या दे वुड सर्व अ ग्रेट पर्पज ऑफ माइंड बाय कमेंसिंग एन इम्पॉर्टेंट सैक्रिफिशियल राइट वर्स तथा राजा संश्रुत्य गमनम तस्य धीमत उवाच वचनम विप्रम गच्छत्व सह भार्य ग्लैड एम आई एक्सक्लेम रोमपाद इन दैट यू हैव एट लास्ट फाउंड समथिंग दैट आई कैन डू फॉर यू एंड टेकिंग हिज सन इन लॉ असाइड ही सेट हिम my valued friend dashratha my other self wants you and your wife shanta to stay with him a while at his place and it will gladden my heart ever so much if you could do so verse 21 rishi putra prati shrutya tatha iti ah nupam tada sa nrupena abhyanu gnyata prayayu sah bharyaya The son of the sage assented to the king's command, saying, "So be it," and permitted by him departed along with his wife Shanta for Ayodhya. Verse twenty-two. Tava anyonya anjalim krithvas nehat samshlishya cha urasa nananda tu dasharato romapada cha viryavan. The Lord of Ayodhya now all haste to go back to his capital embraced Romapada warmly and took reluctant leave of him the kings wished each other with folded palms and hugged each other with love verse 23 tata sukhridam aprachya prastito ragunandana paureshu preshya masa dutan vai shigra gamina Then King Dashratha, who set forth to Ayodhya, bade farewell to his friend King Romapada, and he firstly sent quick-footed messengers to Ayodhya to inform his citizens about his arrival with Sage Rishishringa. Verse twenty-four. Kriyatam nagaram sarvam kshipram eva svalankritam dhupitam sik. samrishtam pataka bhi alankritam goi said the king in advance and see to it that the entire city puts on her brightest look let the roads be swept clean and the dust laid let the streets and houses be decked gaily with flags streamers banners and garlands let arches welcome us at every turn and sweet perfumes sail along the soft breeze verse 
तत प्रहृष्ट पौराते श्रुत्व राजानम आगतम तथा चक्रोच तत्सर्व राज्ञ यत प्रशितम तदा The people of the city heard the king's arrival and they were overjoyed. They did everything as asked by the king. Verse 26. Tata svalankritam raja nagaram pravivesha shanka dhundbir nirgoshai puraskritya dvija rishabham. And Dasharatha entered Ayodhya to the sweet sounds of martial music and the joyful shouts of the people, dressed in their brightest and their best, who gave a hearty welcome to the beloved monarch and his honored friend. Verses 27 and 28 Tam pramudita sarve drishtva tam nagara dvijam praveshyamanam satkritya narendrena indra karmana यथा दिवि सुरेन्द्रेन सहस्राक्षेन काश्यपम द सिटीजन्स वर हैप्पी टू सी द ब्राह्मण सेज ऋषि श्रृंग बीइंग वेल ऑनर्ड बाय किंग दशरथ एज ही एंटर द सिटी ऑफ अयोध्या इट वाज वेरी सिमिलर टू हाउ इंद्र एंटर्ड विद काश्यप सन वामन सो वंस अगेन वाल्मीकि इज ट्राइंग टू टीच अस समथिंग दैट इज अननोन थ्रू समथिंग दैट इज नोन we do know that vaman devata was the avatar of lord vishnu who took his appearance in the house of kashipa and mother aditi and after he had defeated bali the grandson of king prahlada he was welcomed by king indra since everyone knows the story Valmiki is using this as an analogy to how King Dashratha who is regularly compared to Lord Indra brought in Rishi Shringa who is the grandson of Kashipa to Ayodhya which is very beautiful like the heavens that King Indra rules Another very beautiful comparison is that one avatar of the lord is mentioned right now that is lord vamana dev and the very relative of vamana dev that is sage rishi stringa is going to bring another avatar in that very city so this is a very beautiful parallel that valmiki is weaving over here verse Twenty-nine, anta puram praveshya enam pujam kritva cha shastrata krita krityam tada atmanam mene tasya upavahanat. Dashrata welcomed the sage into the palace chambers and worshipped him there as ordained in the scriptures. and in bringing the sage here into his country king dashratha believed that his desire has already been fulfilled so here dashratha shows the faith that one should have in the words of guru dashratha listened to sumantra who listened to sanat kumara bhagwan and therefore dashratha is following the orders of sanat kumara so that was his guru's words and acharya's words are being followed by dashratha and he has the complete faith that since he is following sanat kumara's words he knows for certain that rishi stringa is going to fulfill his desires of having rama as a son and his task has already been accomplished this is the faith that one should have upon one's spiritual master verse 30 antah purani sarvani shantam drishtva tatha agatam sah bhartra vishalakshim pritya anandam upagamam all the royal ladies experienced immense delight when they saw the large eyed shanta arrive there along with her husband verse 
पूज्यमाना तो ताभी सा राज्ञ च एव विशेषतः उवास तत्र सुखिता कंचित कालम सह द्विजा honored and worshiped by the royal ladies and by king dasharatha shanta dwelt there for some time comfortably with her husband sage rishishranga this concludes chapter 11 of balakand and we need to understand of here the implicit faith that king dasharatha has in his guru sanat kumara in his trusted minister sumantra in the goodness of his friend romapada and in the kindness of rishishringa who has agreed to come to ayodhya to fulfill the desires of king dashratha and king dashratha is doing all of these things why just so that he can have rama as his son and he has that joy that immense joy that sanat kumara has already foretold that through the exertions of sage rishishringa four sons are going to be born to king dashratha who are going to be resplendent and they're famed throughout the entire world and they are extraordinarily wonderful sons and this faith is absolutely necessary the faith in one's guru is absolutely essential and we also get to see that the people of ayodhya are extremely happy that king dashratha has come to ayodhya with rishishringa and shanta they have decorated the city very beautifully this happiness is for lord rama's arrival there is the sage who is going to conduct a yagna that is going to bring rama to that land and the people are extremely happy of course they did that because king dashratha asked them to decorate the city but the underlying message is that one should do everything for the sake of lord rama to please lord rama to be very happy that rama is going to arrive in that place in the next chapter we will see the commencement of the horse sacrifice or the ashwamedha yagna mangalam koshlendraya mahaniya gunabde chakravarti dhanurjaya sarvabhoumaya mangalam jai sita ram